Okay, it looks like we have some finished bricks drying. Wow, this is really an impressive operation. We'll see what they're up to. How you do it because brickyards are mobile. We we don't make bricks and ship them all over the place. We make the bricks where you want them, so we don't have to move anything. Because the last thing a brick maker wants to do is move a brick. Or maybe okay, one brick's fine, but you know, fifty thousand. Now we've got a different question. So they make the brick on site, and that way you can you can do everything. You don't have to move it. It also means you don't have previously fired bricks. Now, without the casing, the big difference will be first, right off the top, you're probably not going to be able to sell 10 to 15 percent of those bricks. They're so under fire, they're not really any better than clay. So, right, you've got 15 percent that you just write off as loss. That means if your customer wanted 100,000, you had to make 115,000 just to cover that. The other difference is without the casing, you have to burn more wood to sustain that heat that you need to fire it. So, with the casing in this kiln, We'll burn about two cords of wood per tunnel from start to finish. That's what we'll end up burning. Without the casing, you're burning about three cords of wood per tunnel. That's a big difference. You're burning 80,000, 90,000, 100,000 bricks. You've got 30 to 40 fire tunnels. That's a big difference. You know, 80 to 120 cords of wood has to be cut. How long would this burn? Uh, it usually takes about four or five days. This started on Wednesday morning. It'll be going through tomorrow, tomorrow night. So then all the bricks that you built the casing out of, mm -hmm. they're now going to be like over... Five. No! Well, I'm a good 20 feet away from the kiln. I'm wearing a t-shirt and blue jeans. And the heat is uncomfortable from here. I mean, this is a cool day. It's probably only about 72 degrees right now. But um, if I get any closer to this, I'm going to start sweating. I cannot imagine being the kiln tender. So the next three comes in at six. Let them dry out here until you can pick them up. Okay. Because, you know, if they get to a point where they're really getting bone dry, they're actually starting to shrink because they've lost right. so much water. So then if they get rained on, they absorb the water, then they just start falling apart. Okay. Um, so usually just a couple of days out here and then into the shed where you stack and store them, keep them dry, they're still drying um, for at least another month. Okay. Within about a, within a month the brick would be considered dry enough to fire. Okay. So is the clay just homogenous enough that it's not going to crack as it dries? No, I mean, you just, so if you look down the road you'll see blank spaces where there used to be a brick. Okay, so, so it does. I mean every day you're you know, losing 20, 30 bricks or so. Okay. Okay, so I didn't want to make my old friend Jason Whitehead self-conscious with a camera stuck in his face because he was doing such an excellent job of interpreting, but I did ask him what these bricks are for in this current firing, and they're going to be used on the uh, James Anderson blacksmith shop. So this really is a year-round trade. They'll make the bricks once or twice a year as needed when the weather is okay, and then they are building with the bricks through the winter months. Oh, huh. Right now? Yeah. Not sure. Uh, 600 billion degrees. <laughs> That's an approximation. How many gigawatts? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just saw Back to the Future yeah. again. Look at that page. They're going to do the exact same thing on the other Look side. Look at the smoke coming out. Well, the reason why oh, I put the wood on the front, oh, since that's where the fire's going to be in the air, is right by the door. Yeah. And they wouldn't burn as well. Yeah. <laughs> Get that smoke coming out there? Yeah, eventually we may get it up to 2,000 degrees and we can judge that by the glow of the brick inside. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, nice. 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 So when he's saying that, well, Cinco. They only put four in last night. Ashton, uh, was doing it earlier, and I was doing it earlier, we were doing it. Oh. Seeing the smoke coming out of the
Say wolf again! Say wolf again! I've got one that can see. This is my kung fu, and it is strong. See you later!